hi let's uh, talk about how to do the ssas cube deployment yeah before going to discuss please subscribe to our channel for more technology videos so ssis ssrs and ssas videos and if you have any questions if you have any msbi related questions so you can write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com yeah so let's go to the ssas cube deployment so first let me show you how to create a cube in a faster way so first we need to add a data source let me add quickly so here i have already have a adventure works data warehouse you can next and in the impersonation i want to use the use credentials of the current user okay so i'll show you why i use this and i may need to change during the deployment i want to show you that error message as well let me click on next yeah you want to go with the same name yes i am planning to with the same name let's click on finish so once the data source is done let's go to the data source view let's click on new data source view click on next yeah i want to go with a, this data source only let's click on next here you need to say what is what are all the tables you need to use so if you want a detailed video about a data sources data source use and all so you can view the you can uh, watch the data source creation or cube creation video in the collection in the video collection yeah so let me take i am not going in detail manner here so let me select factory seller table and as we discussed in the earlier videos so i'll be clicking on add related tables so you know that whenever i click on add related table it automatically pulls all the tables so based on the table relation so because i selected a fact table obviously yes it automatically links with a multiple dimension tables if you see how many dimension tables it is linked one fact table is linked with a seven dimension tables so if you want if you don't want any of the table you can you can remove by selecting this table and you can click on this arrow okay for time being i want to go with all the dimension table along with that fact table let me click on next yeah this is a place where you need to give the name of the data source view let's click on finish so once the data source view is done if you see the uh, picture it it will show you like this it will show you the, like this so this is a picture of the data source view so this is how the fact table is linked to the specific dimension tables now let me go to the cube creation so you will be creating a cube like this i am not going in a detailed way so let me come next yeah here this is the place where you need to select what are or you want to go with existing tables or new tables let me click on i want to go with existing tables and this is a place where you need to select the measure group table it means that fact table so i have only one fact table it automatically here i can see if you want to click on means if, if you are not aware of the database structure too much you can click on suggest or you can if you know it you can select it so let me select click on let me click on suggest in the earlier video i intentionally selected the fact table but in this video i am going to click on suggest so once i click on suggest it will be selecting the fact table so let's remove this reseller table let's click on next yeah so these are all the list of measures you will be having in the table if you want to remove any of the particular measure you can remove it it does not uh, matter like a uh, here our concentration more on the deployment not on the cube design and all okay so i am going with the default uh, measure list only let's click on next yeah so in the in this window here you will be seeing the list of dimensions so again i am planning to go with a default uh, uh, dimensions only i am not going i am not uh, planning to go with an selection here because my concentration more on the deployment only we click on next yeah so this is a place where you need to give the cube name so i want to go with the same name or i can give whatever the name i want let me click on finish so once i click on finish so it internally creates a dimensions measures along with the cube see here if you see the down these are the list of dimensions the top these are the list of measures okay 
so this now till now like i am done with the cube development so once you are done with the cube development so to see is there any errors in your uh, project let's right click in the project click on build if you have any errors you will automatically pop up in the error list so there are no errors because i can see in the left bottom side build succeeded so as a best practice let's build first so then once you are done let's right click on it so now from here onwards i will be doing the cube deployment here i will be doing the cube deployment so before going to do the deployment first you need to build it so once the build is done then just right click on the project so at the end you have a properties click on that properties so if you see that properties so here you have a build debug and deployment in the left side if you see in the build you have two sections deployment server and the um, outputs in the outputs you have a bin folder under that you will be having some files in the build for bin folder next so debugging is not required for us next go to the deployment in the deployment so in which server do you want to deploy so my server name is localhost slash sql 2012 and i want to go with the database name as the same project name if you want to change you can change it is up to us okay now let me go to the build and let me go to the bin folder so how to go to the bin folder from here you can simply you can simply right click in the cube and go to open containing folder so there you will see the place where the cube is available in the same folder you have a bin folder as well this is the bin folder which is referring in that let's click on bin so here you will be having four files one is as database config settings deployment options and deployment targets so this is a bin folder which i am planning to show okay so now let me go back yeah so i have uh, made the configuration so let me show you again go to the properties in the properties deployment is important okay so what is a server where exactly do you want to deploy and with what database name you want to deploy so once you are done let's click on okay next first so let's right click on the project click on deploy so let me click on deploy so once you click on deploy you will be getting a one more window to show the progress of the deployment let me click on deploy so once i click on deploy it will show the progress of it if you see here my deployment got failed with some error if you see the error message data source adventure works dw 2012 contains an impersonation mode that is not supported for the processing options it means that so while creating a data source while creating a data source if you if you remember it i have a impersonation tab under that i have user credentials of the current user so my user means whatever the user which i am using to connect to the sql server database that does not have a impersonation privileges so to use that to avoid that i am planning to use a service account my service account have the impersonation permissions that's the reason why i am selecting a service account or if you have a specific user id password you can specify that and you can make a move so but my service account have a impersonation privileges that's the reason i am selecting that once you select that use service account just click on okay now let me click on build once see here build is completed or build succeeded without errors let me right click here and before going to deploy it let me show you my stuff as well here this is my analysis server server so which uh, having one database let me remove this okay yeah while yeah now it is empty if you see this this is empty now let me deploy it okay let me right click here click on deploy so i have uh, removed means i have fixed the impersonation error now if you see the deployment is deploying and processing okay so now it is deploying the cube into my local analysis server so it may take a while for the first time because it has to create the a structure and it has to come it has to aggregate the data now deployment is succeeded deployment is succeeded let me go back to the analysis server here let me refresh this yeah under that i have a analysis database with the name of ssas sample under that i will be having all this okay data sources data source views cubes dimensions mining structure roles and assemblies so this is how we do the 
cube deployment in the SSAs. So that is a one way of doing the cube deployment. So now if you remember it, if you see very closely here, if you observe very closely, so I have directly deployed my cube from the SSDT, from the SSDT. But so when you want to deploy the same cube in the production environment or so pre-production environment or some testing environments, then how to send the cube to the different environments. So that time, so you may need to send the some XMLA scripts. You need to send the XMLA script. How to generate the XMLA script? So there are many ways to generate the XMLA scripts. The one way of generating XMLA script is, so once the database is deployed in the uh, local analysis server, so right click on the database. So click on the script database as create to new query editor window. So once you click on that option, so it may take a while and it creates a XMLA script for us. If you see the extension of it is XMLA, XMLA query 2 dot XMLA. So if you see the ID is SSA sample, name is SSA sample and this is the entire uh, related stuff. So let's save this. Let's save somewhere. Yeah, let's save here. You can save. So it, it will be. I have a file. So this is a XMLA file. So which is having the same. So now you need to send this file to the production environment or pre-production environment or some testing environment. So these people can directly install means these people can directly. So run this query on the analysis server it automatically creates a analysis database with a cube and dimensions and measures. This is the one way of giving it. Now I have other tool. So I have other way of uh, generating XML script. How to do it is go to all programs and uh, go to Microsoft SQL Server 2012. Under that analysis services, you have a deployment wizard. So with the help of this wizard also, you can generate it. Let me click on how, let me show you the other way how to generate XMLA script. Click on next. Here you need to select the database file. So where is my database file? My database file is in the bin folder. So let me click here. Yeah, here if you see the other way of generating XMLA file is let's open that deployment widget and I have given a bin folder address once you click on here let's go to the bin under that you have a my project name dot as database select that click on next so here it will show you the server name and a database name click on next and so here i did not change any of the uh, properties or any of the configurations in the cube because my intention is to know how to deploy the cube so i am planning to go with a default settings of the partition and default roles and members let me click on next so i want to go with a <clears throat> as it is uh, settings let me click on next and let me click on next here so i don't want to click uh, next to install it in a local server so but if you already have it automatically overwrite but i want to create a deployment script for it so where do you want to create? You want to go with in the same uh, bin folder. Yes. And the name of the XML script name is SSA sample space script dot XML. That, that is the name which is proposed by my SSA configuration window deployment wizard window. So let me click on next here. Yeah, let me click on next and finish. So if you go here, if you see here, my XML script is generated for me. So I can give this script to the uh, other team people to execute in their respective environment either it can be a production UAT or some other environment so this is how we generate an XMLA script <clears throat> let me repeat again here so in this cube deployment video we talked about how to deploy a cube by using SQL Server data tools by using SQL Server data tools and so we already know means we already talked about how to generate an XMLA script from a 
analysis management studio and so we talked about how to generate a xml script by using ssas analysis services wizard deployment wizard so this is how we deploy the cube in the analysis services so that's it thank you for watching please keep watching our videos and subscribe and share your feedback in the comment section in the youtube thank you